Ashley, thank you. More construction barrels are coming to 465 on the city's north side. INDOT is planning a massive overhaul to the U.S. 31 and 465 interchange. News 8's Adam Pinsker speaks with INDOT about the project's timeline and residents who will have to navigate the construction. INDOT says the goal of this project is to reduce the chances of drivers making dangerous merges here at this intersection. At the end of 2015, former Governor Mike Pence helped inaugurate a new and improved U.S. 31 freeway designed to get drivers to and from I-465 faster than a traditional roadway. Almost a decade later, the bulldozers and traffic cones will be returning. The reason that we're coming in here and, and doing Level Up 31 sooner than most people probably expected us to is because we're seeing such a population growth. We are seeing more congestion. We're seeing unsafe lane movement. Since 2015, INDOT says the population of Carmel is up by 12.8 percent, and it's increased 59 percent in Westfield. Dan Dameron moved to the north side of Indianapolis 40 years ago. He says the size going from 465 to US 31 can be confusing. But they need to straighten out some of the signs coming up on 465 because some of the truckers have a hard time when they get up to it they see oh they're going off to Kokomo or Westfield or to uh, Meridian. The project calls for adding a lane on I-465 eastbound to U.S. 31 northbound and another lane from 465 westbound to U.S. 31 northbound plus an access lane to 106th Street. We're looking at um, crashes that have happened in that area. We're looking at backups and congestion. Um, all of that, all of those safety safety, big safety issues. LaPorte County resident Jay Seberg uses US 31 a lot to commute down to Indianapolis for doctor's appointments and deals with his fair share of traffic. Especially with the increased development, the increased economic growth in Hampton County. After watching an INDOT presentation on the project, Seberg says he's on board, even if the construction makes his commute longer. It's going to get worse before it gets better. That's what they say. INDOT says another public meeting will be held sometime in the winter of 2025 so residents can express their concerns. The project is expected to get underway in the fall or summer of 2025. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.